Welcome to morning prayer for Friday. Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. The fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, A Song of God's Grace. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The Psalms this morning are Psalm 20 and the first portion of Psalm 21. May the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. The God of Jacob lift you up to safety. May he send you his help from the sanctuary and be your strong support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept with favour your burnt sacrifices. Grant you your heart's desire and fulfil all your purposes. May we also rejoice in your victory and triumph in the name of our God. The Lord perform all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord will save his anointed, that he will answer him from his holy heaven with the victorious strength of his right hand. Some put their trust <coughs> in chariots and some in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are made strong and stand upright. O Lord, save the King, and hear us when we call upon you. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. Amen. The King shall rejoice in your strength, O Lord. He shall exult in your salvation. You have given him his heart's desire. You have not denied him the request of his lips. For you came to meet him with the blessings of success and placed a crown of gold upon his head. He asked you for life and you gave it him, length of days for ever and ever. Great is his glory because of your salvation. You have clothed him with honour and majesty. You have given him everlasting felicity and made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king puts his trust in the Lord and through the tender mercy of the Most High he shall never be moved. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and for ever, Amen. We pray, Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with peace and joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John chapter 4, beginning at verse 55. 
there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool, called in Hebrew Bethsapha, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame and paralysed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, the man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared into the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore the Jews started persecuting Jesus, because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, my father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our canticle, Saviour of the World. Jesus, Saviour of the World, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. 
O God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only begotten Son to the Gentiles. Mercifully grant that we who know you now by faith may after this life be led to the vision of your glorious Godhead. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Let us worship the Saviour with joy and make our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Father, the Magi came from the East to worship your Son. Help Christians everywhere to honour and love our Lord. Bless Peter, our Bishop, Bishop Sonia and Charlie, Dean Catherine and Canon Angela, and bless the life of our Cathedral. God of grace, hear our prayer. The infant Christ received gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Father, accept the offering of our hearts and minds as we give thanks for a year that has been and pray your blessing on the year that has begun. God of grace, hear our prayer. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. We pray for our leaders in government, guide our nation's policies to benefit the environment, refugees and all in need, and to work for peace and justice. We pray for people in countries that are overwhelmed by COVID-19 and for the people of the USA as they make a government transition. God of grace. Hear our prayer. The Holy Family lived in exile and in the shadow of death. Father, look in mercy on all who are poor and powerless, prisoners and those who live under tyranny or who suffer in any way, praying at this time for the people of Hong Kong and China. We seek the healing power of Christ for those who are sick and who are on our own hearts. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your son shared the life of his home and family at Nazareth. Father, protect in your love our neighbours our families and our friends. Help us to be a blessing to them. God of grace, hear our prayer. Father, we rejoice in our fellowship with the shepherds, the angels, the Magi, the Blessed Virgin, Saint Joseph and all the saints as we pray for the faithful departed. Give them rest eternal, Lord, and let light, light perpetual shine upon them. Almighty God, you've promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith, we may by your grace receive, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.